Hey, I'm Shy Fox, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to transfer your Clip Studio Paint brushes, settings, workspace, and all that good stuff, everything that you've sort of customized about your Clip Studio Paint on your device to another device. This might be particularly useful if you, for example, need to move your Clip Studio Paint license off one computer and onto another. I literally just did a video about that, but now this left me wondering, but what about all my settings and what about all that stuff? So if you want to see how to actually move your license from one device to another device, I've got a separate video for that. It'll be in the description and I'll try and link it in the top. But if you're actually wondering about the settings and we want to move those settings, maybe keybinds, whatever, um, then this is the video for that. Uh, first things first, we're going to want to go to Clip Studio. I'm going to close my Clip Studio Paint so I can do this and open just Clip Studio. You're going to want to make sure you're logged in. Apparently I wasn't, so logging in. So click on at the top, the cloud, where you've got your cloud. And this is where the magic happens. We have cloud settings, restore app settings, back up app settings now. So on the device that you would like to save your settings from, the one that you've got your keybinds, your workspace, your brushes all set up on, you're going to click back up app settings now. So then you'll just click OK. And you can click the arrows in the top to see that going. It'll take a moment to do that. Just wait till it's done. All right, the backup is complete. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. It was over an hour, I think. So if you're doing this, be prepared to wait. I'm just going to head back to the home page now and we're going to just pretend I'm on a different computer, different device now. And on the new device, you're going to go to the same place. You're going to go back to the cloud. And then from here, it's going to show you uh, that the last update was at a particular date and time. So that's today. So this has been updated. So then you would click this one, restore app settings. So you click it and we'll go through the process here. As you can see, I did one recently with my iPad just for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to restore what I actually just backed up. So technically nothing's going to change for me, but I'll show you what it looks like. So we're going to hit restore for my desktop. All right, this will restore the application settings. We're going to click yes. We're just going to click OK. And this popped up on my other monitor. I'll just move it here so we can see it says restoring. So this too could take a while. We'll see how long it takes. Wow, that was it. That was like 30 seconds. Completed restoration of app settings. And perhaps it's because um, they're identical to what I had, so it might take, might take you longer. Let's click OK and let's head on over to Draw. And when I did this from my iPad to my laptop, which is part of the inspiration, hello old uh, thumbnail, let's close that. Um, which was the inspiration of making this video, realizing that, hey, this would be an, a, a valuable thing to teach. I found that everything transitioned over super well. The only thing that I felt didn't work so well was the actual workspace, which was like how things were laid out, like my, you know, colors here and things there, toolbar here. And that didn't actually transfer over, but everything else did, especially like the one that I find annoying is my keybinds. I hate having to manually like update those and put those in. So I was really happy that I didn't have to deal with that. Uh, the reason maybe my workspace didn't transfer over is because it was actually dealing with version two of Clip Studio Paint and Clip Studio Paint has on their website that this cloud uh, saving of the settings for Clip Studio Paint isn't compatible with versions before version three of Clip Studio Paint. And I did it with version two. So fun fact, you can do it with version two. It just might not transfer everything. And I was pleasantly surprised that it even transferred over brushes that I had. What I do recommend you doing if something doesn't transfer over, that is like a brush or that is like your workspace, you can actually in your manage materials of Clip Studio, um, find the ones that, uh, let's see, I have cloud. This is mine. I only have a couple things here. A couple things that were useful. Workspace from November 2020. Cool. And oh, this one's more recent. So anyway, um, I would just recommend backing up a certain brush or a certain workspace if it's specific 
and you really don't want it to get messed up. So that's kind of the backup plan. But otherwise, everything hopefully should transfer over for you. If this was helpful, then like, comment, all that. I always appreciate people who comment. I make an effort to reply to everyone that I can. So that is awesome if you do. And subscribe if you want more Clip Studio Paint tip videos and art tutorials. Happy painting.